to top lista please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. In the modern world, understanding how to touch a woman to turn her on is more crucial than ever. The Me Too movement has changed how we view consent and unwanted touching. If you want to learn how to touch a woman to turn her on and develop attraction, watch episode 1. Knowing how to touch a woman in a way that is courteous and turns her on will help you ensure that you are not going too far. The basis of touch and attraction in science for years, scientists have investigated the idea of touch and attraction, and the results are conclusive. According to studies, when we contact another person, our brains release oxytocin, a hormone associated with feelings of trust, comfort, and relaxation, as well as empathy. Studies have demonstrated a strong link between the senses and arousal, with touch being the most important factor in both. In the context of building attraction, those same oxytocin levels rise significantly when a man touches a woman in a non-threatening manner. This means that when you touch a girl in a certain way, it can spark a strong emotional connection between the two of you, resulting in arousal and greater feelings of attraction is great, but how exactly do you go about touching the girl in a way that is both appropriate and arousing? We'll show you exactly how to do that. Below is the art of sensual touching. Touching a girl in an appropriate sensual wear requires a combination of skill focus and confidence a good approach is to practice a light sensual touch as you talk to her start with a small touch on her arm to acknowledge her presence then move to longer and more intimate touches as the conversation progresses don't forget that it's important to be present in the moment and to pay attention to her body language and her reactions as you touch her for example if she moves away or leans back when you touch her then that means you've gone too far and should move back back on the other hand if she moves closer and shows more signs of physical attraction then you can move further and become more intimate with your touch at the same time. It's important to be conscious of the atmosphere and the mood. If you sense that she's enjoying your touch then you can gradually increase the intensity and duration of your touch as you get to know her, and become more comfortable with each other you can. Move on to more intimate forms of touch such as caressing her face running your hands through her hair or touching her back or shoulders. As you become more confident additionally, you can try out light, fluffy last but not least. It's important to keep in mind that timing and context are crucial. Knowing when to turn up the intensity and when to back off, as well as being aware of the environment and atmosphere, are all essential to creating an intimate connection through touch. Soft kisses or romantic music complementing what you're doing also help to create an essential atmosphere that will help bring out and magnify the emotions felt between the two of you. Once you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals, you should investigate how to touch a girl to create attraction. Generally speaking, it's preferable to begin with gentler touches and then gradually transition to more intimate touches as the bond between the two of you deepens. A good place to start is by lightly touching her hands, wrists, shoulders, and neck. While each of these areas has a different effect, they all demonstrate a level of care and intimacy that signals attraction. Then, you can move on to kissing and caressing her face, which is a way to express your interest in her and can be incredibly potent when done properly. Another part of the body to concentrate on is the lower back, which is full of nerve endings and therefore extremely sensitive. When caressing a girl, it's crucial to observe her body language and reactions because this sensitive area is sometimes ignored, but can be highly exciting when handled correctly. You can continue to touch her in a way that is suitable and intimate if she feels at ease and enjoys what you're doing, however, if she seems uncomfortable or is pulling away, it's time to back off and start again at a slower pace. Pace the best tip for touching a girl to build attraction is to concentrate on making the connection between the two of you more intimate. This can be done through the use of gentle touches and soft kisses, as well as by playing Roma. Touching a girl to build attraction is all about understanding our body language and then being able to adjust accordingly. It's important to remember that you should always be aware of her comfort level and treat her with respect. The practice of sensual touching will undoubtedly enhance a relationship. How to approach a girl without frightening her If you're looking for advice on how to touch a girl without frightening her away, here are a few that can help you develop intimacy with her. Stay respectful Always keep things respectful and make sure your intentions are clear when it comes to touching someone. Boundaries are important, and you should always make sure that the other person is comfortable. 
Observe her cues, make sure she is responding favorably to your touches before continuing. Pay attention to your surroundings and foster a culture of consent. For physical contact to be truly meaningful, both of you must initiate it and enjoy it. If you want to ensure that she won't feel uncomfortable, keep it lighthearted. Start if she is comfortable, gradually increase the intensity of your touches until you find the ideal balance between the two of you by using these guidelines. Slowly, by lightly touching her arm or hand when talking, you show that you are interested in her without making it feel too intimate or overwhelming. You can approach a woman in a way that sparks her curiosity and increases attraction without frightening her off. 4. Errors that males frequently commit when approaching women making a common error when caressing a lady can be extremely off-putting. Therefore, be careful not to do so. In terms of caressing a female, here are some do's and don'ts. Respect her limits, begin with light, delicate touches. Engage her response, create anticipation, progress gently, and pay attention to her body language and signs to learn what she loves. Avoid grabbing at random and in the absence of signs. By following these rules, you'll have a greater chance of avoiding offending your date and instead making sure you're having fun with her rather than moving too quickly and overwhelming her, invading her personal space, or touching her inappropriately. Incorporating touching these places into foreplay and sex, or just giving her some pleasure after a hard day, will definitely earn you some points. We all know which female body parts men most frequently like to explore, but there is more to her than a vagina, breasts, and butt. We all know which female body parts men most frequently like to explore, but there is more to her than a vagina, breasts, and butt. The School of Squirt has their own list of female erogenous zones. The largest amount of nerve endings may be packed into those areas, but she has pleasure sensors all over her body, and getting her in the mood may be as easy as stimulating some of these often neglected parts. Incorporating touching these places into foreplay and sex, or just giving her some pleasure after a hard day, will definitely earn you some brownie points. 1. Hair Maintaining their gorgeous locks isn't the only reason women go to their hairstylists so often. The process of wash, cut, color, and styling can actually be quite a stress reliever. Running your hands gently through her hair is a surefire way to send tingles down her spine. Let your fingers massage circles from her temples to the nape of her neck and she'll be putty in your hands. 2. Pelvis Concentrating some affection on her pelvis is a great idea, however, you'll have to resist the urge to slip down to her vagina while you're so close. Like teasing her inner thighs, kissing and licking around her pelvis will excite her until she's begging for more. Prolong the sensation by leaving the region to focus on another body part for a while. 3. Inner Thighs Touching her inner thighs without venturing into the vaginal area will make for an excellent tease that is sure to get her revved up. Use your hands and mouth to caress and kiss the insides of her thighs, getting excruciatingly close to her ultimate pleasure spot, but pulling back before going all the way. 4. Feet Pulp Fiction taught us that rubbing the feet of another man's wife may be an offense punishable by being thrown out a window, so the sensual appeal of a foot massage is obvious. There are few better ways to help her relax than to give her feet a good rub, especially if her job requires her to be on them all day. Do it right and grab some massage oil or lotion. Don't forget to pay some attention to her toes, ankles, and the sides of her feet too. Some women really enjoy having their toes sucked, but others find it repulsive, so asking first is a good idea before putting them in your mouth. 5. Ear Lobes Touching, kissing and even lightly biting the earlobes of your woman will up the bliss factor for her. These delicate, soft lobes are very sensitive and most women thoroughly enjoy the sensation of having a man's lips on them. You can nibble around the outside of the rest of her ear as well, but for courtesy's sake avoid jamming your tongue inside her ear. 6. Palms of her hands People often use their hands as tools to please their partners, but rarely do they consider the pleasure potential of stimulating the hands themselves. The palm of a woman's hand is an innocuous spot to focus a little attention on without making people around you uncomfortable. Tracing your finger along her palm will give her delightful shivers and make you appear sensitive and attentive. 7. Behind her knees. 
This area is one that most men don't think of when trying to stimulate a woman, but it is, in fact, quite sensitive. Gently caressing the back of the knee under her skirt, while the two of you are in a public place will make her ready to get busy once you get home. Don't forget to pay some more attention to this special spot once you're alone too. 8. Small of her back. The best way to guide your woman through a crowd is to place your hand against the small of her back. This small gesture shows that you feel protective of her without being too pushy like an arm around the shoulder might be. When you're alone, kissing or licking down her spine to end up with a kiss on the small of her back will get her heart racing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.